Hey everyone, Weather D. We're back for more Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3 from the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. But it's on the Wii U in my case, but Mario can finally take advantage of that wonderful matchup that he did earlier. Hopefully he can get some more lives to replenish the agony that he's been suffering from the last video where his brother just showed him up from start to finish. Yeah, I'm really scared. Come on. Please. Oh, we aren't getting that. Wow, that is the most chimera looking thing I've ever seen. So, 6 7. What's this all about? Right, more auto scrolling. That's always a blast. This is more about the whole wonderful world of donut blocks plus auto scrolling. And you're going to have to risk life and limb because they're going to throw these brick walls at you. And of course, a freaking wonderful enemy that I hate to see, especially during an auto scroller. Screw you. Because they want you to really explore the wonderful world of jumping off of donut blocks and risking your life for coins. All over the place. Mario's happy that he got some extra lives. I'm happy for him too because, man, please. I was worried that it's not going to go my direction. I would love to try to test my luck with those blocks, but they could have nothing. So this isn't really bad of an auto-scroller. It certainly beats the last couple I've been putting up with. Not so much the one that we met back in 6-2, but it's certainly a far cry from 5-9. You know, the one with the freaking one chasing me endlessly. And then you have this part. Hope you get in on the first try, because... That sucks if you don't. Aw oh, man, I would love to get a fire flower right about now, but this is where you get introduced to the coin blocks. And is there a way to get out of that? Thank you, I'm, I'm so glad Nintendo thought of that. Cause I was like thinking, is there a way to get stuck over there and screwed? Thankfully not. But yeah, you were supposed to make good use of your fire flower, grab all those coins and Possibly take out that Koopa that's and Luigi you could have could have been like in first, but We could break this block and you don't have to deal with this level ever But since I have to play every level in this game Including the ones I don't want to play We talk about the second fortress, which is More ice of course there's more ice and there of course more booze and things trying to squ squash into me Thankfully, this isn't nearly as bad. The only thing that really kind of makes things troublesome is missing the gap. And of course, getting like kind of stuck and peeling out in the worst spots. Oh, great. More of these things. They are really throwing a lot of these double neon waffle action at me. I don't particularly enjoy it, but it's going to pretty much be a kind of a norm. Excuse me. Okay. Oh man, thank goodness for the wonderful world of the tail saving my ass and one last swamp to try to ruin me. But now we have a, a boom boom trying to take the the height advantage from me. Unfortunately, he decided to put himself down here. We can do. Oh my God, you were much faster. Yeah, that's the one thing that's scary about ice. Boom Boom starts getting freaking boost power and he just starts charging into it even faster than before. So just keep your feet like nimble and swift. Otherwise, he might punch you in the face. You don't want to ever have that happen. Mario, can you potentially get ourselves some uh, items to use? Because my resource hungry self took all of them away earlier regretting that let's see i think we had a mushroom here and then we got one here good let's see what we got here one up uh if it would be next to this thing i'd be kind of pissed but let's try to uh, here damn it i'm just curious right the 20 coin thing uh here oh there's a fire flower Okay, let's go back to beating more levels. And remember that island I was talking about earlier. Bridge is created when you kill the fortress. Good to know. 6-8, what is this all about? 
Right. This is like where the game kind of tricks you in a false sense of security. Like, oh, the ice isn't ever... I keep forgetting those things disappear in your hands. But the ice isn't no longer everywhere. Can I actually hit this block now? Thank you. Screw you. And one thing to note, when those spike balls fall down, you don't have to worry about them falling on and hitting you. Unlike, say, in Smash Brothers Ultimate, where Patui or Patui projectiles are the most god-awful thing on the planet. Excuse me. Like, the fact that it doesn't matter. Oh, man. These buster beetles are getting kind of rough. Thankfully, they are kind of dumb. Like, they'll either gladly walk into your block. You need some more uh, kick block action here. Excuse me. Take full advantage of this. Watch this. Or wait, no. Not watch this. In fact, we're gonna go backtrack real quick because this is a really dumb thing right here. Yeah, you're supposed to figure out that there's a whole bunch of blocks up here that turn into coins when you hit that. Kind of annoying, but whatever. We're gonna get out of here, Mario. You know, one thing I haven't been running into at all in World 6 and very thankful for? Frickin' Lakitu. Imagine Lakitu and ice. That would actually horrify me to no end. Like, having to deal with the fact that Lakitu is making a hassle of my entire existence just by throwing a frickin' ice block or, like, a spiny right in my face at the worst time. Alright, so let's talk about the most watery level in World 9. And also, or, or not World 9, World... Wow, World 6, wow. This is a place where you could potentially get yourself into the wall. This is a very, very famous speedrunner shortcut. That if you sub-pixel yourself into this wall, you could potentially skip this entire level. I don't see that happening for me, but you could potentially do it and make me look bad. And this is the only time you'll be hearing this theme in this world, because you're going to have to deal with the freaking cluster shot blooper. What the heck? Yeah, those things, now it's gone from having young to throwing their young away, which is kind of traumatizing. I'm going to take this for sure. And of course, if you re didn't remember from before, you can run over one space gaps. Thank God for that. But th thankfully, this isn't too bad of a level. It certainly beats some of the water levels I was putting up with back in World 3. But it does throw some pretty tr tricky jumps, and it also screws you over if you don't have a, a particular raccoon Mario action here. But it does also give you some fire flowers, plenty of them, which I'm gladly... I'm really glad the game, or at least Super Mario Advance 4 and probably Super NES version, will remember what you can... Uh, re remember the items. Sup, Big Bertha? How you doing? Let's just ruin that project. Yeah, Big Bertha shows up in this level twice, I believe. And you definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of those small fish, let alone that big gaping maw. And this is where you would have popped up if you were to take that one shortcut. Unfortunately, Luigi took the hard way, and he got a nice three of a kind of different items. Whatever the case, good stuff, Luigi. Mario... You're doing much better. You're not dying every level now. Can we potentially finish off all these courses and talk about 6-10? 6-10, I believe, is where you get acquainted with more of the thing that I wanted to see more of. However, I think one particular level in a Mario or a later Mario game... Watch this. Yep, that's one nice thing about those particular enemies just gladly walking up to you and dying. But this is where you get acquainted with munchers in an ice block. And if you free them, well, that sucks because you're going to have to deal with them. Speaking of what sucks is... Oh, this is actually good. I highly recommend you keep this part, this block in mind. But before I do that, let's... I think it's going to stay here. I'm gonna, just going to move forward real quick and clear a path. Excuse me. 
Because there's this particular setup right here. These munchers blocking a pipe. And I have a good feeling. Can you... Thank you. I have a good feeling that I'm going to get something nice by doing this. Because if you're not aware, you hit a P-switch, munchers turn into coins. You don't want to grab that one, but you want to grab all of these and go into this pipe because we might get something really freaking good. What's in here? Yes, give me the hammer bro suit. Perfect. Now I can show off the best power up in the game. The ability to finally get revenge on all these douches. You are not ruining my fun, asshole. I knew as soon as he's picking up, like, oh crap, you're going to try to kill me. But yeah, this thing goes freaking far, as you can see. And it goes up in that nice arc that you wish you've had all this time. Oh. No! You dick! You know what? Screw you guys. Buster Beetles, you can just die, for all I care. I was hoping to kill you all without losing my suit, but now we're just gonna have to deal with this treacherous part right before the end. Thank goodness. Man, lost the item. But yeah, Hammer Bro suit, perfect. Best pick or power up in the game. It's strong, it has great range, but you just have to get used to that weird arc with the throwing. Now we got the fortress. And the fortress, I recall this being a little rough. Yeah, it starts off with, hey, you want spikes? And of course, the couples again. Plenty of couples. Of course, you want to also lead these boos into situations where you don't risk your life and limb. And stretch. Hello, already killing me. I'm glad that you're acquainting me with a hitbox there. Please don't. Man. Yeah, I kind of want that. Okay, Stretch, you're gonna give me pain and misery here? That's fine, as long as I don't lose my freaking power-up. Come on. Okay, this is probably the worst part of this level right here. Because getting underneath that guy is so damn hard. Oh, okay, this might be rough. Because now they're starting to go in opposite directions. Yeah, now we have feuding couples. Great. Let's try it again. Mario, please do not lose your power up. Please beat this level for Luigi's sake and my sake too. Because this is honestly the hardest fortress in World 6. Because these boos are just positioned in the most the most evil spots and stretch munching at my feet isn't helping. So you're gonna just have to deal with the the ghost population. Come on, give me that damn thing, please. Thank you. Nope. And I just have to deal with this thing. Oh my gosh, that is threading the needle. And then we got more... We got this part again, the feuding couples. I'm gonna take the hit and run for dear life. And then we'll be done with the level, right? Oh no, we won't be done with the level. And do not move when you fall out of that particular door. Because you might end up hitting a boo on the way down, but I kind of like this whole pre-ghost house action. And, you know, boom boom, I've been a pretty good pal to you this this world, but you're going to have to die, sir. I am not... Whoa, what the hell are you doing? You saw that, right? He just kind of like went like pfft, sliding. I don't know why he did that, but thank God I wasn't in his way. And we are finally done with all the damn levels. Step one. Luigi, do the honors. Take on the castle. And I'm trying to figure out what this thing is supposed to be. I'm guessing this is one big ass whale of sorts, but let's talk about the doom ship of world six. And we got a Monty Mole. We got a Super Mario World enemy getting thrown at us. That's not right. No, then again, we had the Dino Rhino thing. But now we got to deal with uh, a very particularly tricky Doom Ship. And I cannot believe Luigi has gotten a single coin since her last escapade. It's kind of crazy, but... 
Yeah, the, this Doom ship, I recall it being kind of tricky. Because guess what? These screws, you're going to have to jump on them for sure now. Like, if you're thinking, oh, I'll be fine, you can maybe wait for that one. But you're going to have to get used to the mechanic here. Because it's all about jumping on the screws. And, of course, they give you a situation where you have two of them to jump off of. So... All I can say is just make sure to press that A button at the exact time. And one nice thing about the flamethrowers, I didn't realize until, oh god, please don't kill me, is that you can kill flamethrowers in this game. I think Ray was kind of a, alluding to that with one of his comments, but you can kill flamethrowers by using the Tanuki suit. And it's actually kind of a, kind of a nice experience. And wow, that went incredibly high just trying to kill me aren't you game but the flamethrowers are well positioned to kind of cause you a bit of misery but once you get up to this particular pipe do we have a power up nope just on my own you now have to fight Lemmy and Lemmy's kind of a different fight so far he's not doing a good job actually fighting me and these balls hurt so you want to jump on them Unfortunately, Lemmy got the short end of the stick here. He, he didn't create the freaking rubbery ball to kill me with it fast enough, so I just managed to get underneath all of them and stomp them to a freaking rainbow-colored pulp. Nevertheless, we can now say hello to... Wow, that guy looks incredibly weird. What the heck? I mean, he looks like a Goomba in disguise, honestly. But the hair kind of gives it away. It's... Don't be, don't be judging, is what he's probably telling me. And of course, I love how uh, Peach is just like, Hey, by the way, uh, you probably got this already, but... Yeah, there's a whistle in the first world. LOL. Bye. And here's an RP wing. Thank you. <sighs> I am totally done with World 6. Thank the living Lord. No more. No more. But then we have another world that's gonna probably kick my ass here soon. It's all about one thing. Wow, this song is not as good as it was on the NES and Super NES. Like that, wow, 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 is gonna mess with my brain here. But this is Pipe Land. If the if the level didn't give you much of a hint, it's all about pipes. And yes, these pipes can sometimes lead you to good spots, and sometimes lead you to dead ends. But more to the point, it's a pretty massive world in its own right not with the same number of courses as world six but it does have the same number of levels because you see that munching thing yeah we're gonna have to deal with that crap for sure but next time we're gonna talk more about pipeline and how true solar or solunar i believe i said that name right please correct me if i didn't was very astute to tell me how the levels have a kind of a picture mechanic to it or like a little theme with pick with the level layout or world layout and how these are all just pipes i like that but next time we're going to talk more about what we have to do in this world before we can beat it so thanks for watching have a great day and adios we you need to get a freaking coin for god's sakes